I'm Shireen from Awesome TV. I have a couple of questions we'd like to ask. First one will be, how does Calibert innovative ideas evolve since it first started introducing the market? Yeah, so uh, Calibert, actually, Calibert has actually been part of our DNA since 1911. So it's really something that's evolved over the decades uh, up until now. But something that's been quite key to us is that the profile of the product, like DNA, remains the same. And so you'll find that the, the taste, you know, the taste indulgence, the, the feel, the application of the product hasn't changed much over all these years. Um, and we keep on looking in terms of how we can uh, renovate and innovate also the product and the brand. And that's why you see from today, we, we launched the uh, Ruby RB2 um, and the uh, Calabat NXT Dairy Free. So again, you'll still see that the profile of the product is, is very very similar to what we started at all those, all those years ago. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It's good to know. And so there's another question I would like to ask. Is like, Can you share a short message about today's launch, the future of chocolate indulgence? Yes, yeah, so first of all, uh, so we're launching today is the, the ruby chocolate. Yeah? So we consider that as being like the fourth type of chocolate. So everybody knows you have the milk, dark, white. Ruby is effectively like the fourth type of chocolate. What we what we are very proud of is this is a very natural product. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a very unique process that we use, and also it's a unique cocoa bean and pot that we have to use to be able to create that kind of intensity of, of the flavor, the fruitiness. Uh, because you, you when you taste it, you see that it tastes like a berry, but there's no berries in it. Mm -hmm. There are no colorings, no, coloring. uh, no flavorings. So mm -hmm. what you're eating is something extremely natural. And so you know that for us is something you know, quite unique and, and really something we're proud of. And then we have the the Calabat dairy free. Mm -hmm. Again, this is this is a product which is fully dairy free, vegan, you know, uh, gluten free, uh, plant based. Um, and a lot of the times when you have products which don't have key ingredients, mm -hmm. the flavor profile changes and I think what we also you know did a lot of work in terms of the recipe itself is that you will eat this product and it still has this creaminess mm. and so it's fully dairy free but there is the creaminess so I think that's why a lot of the, the chefs the artisans the TCAs uh, you know really see this as really something fantastic because they can continue working and creating things and have all these fantastic natural claims um, and so both products are also fully sustainable so it's uh, that's the part where you know we continue to innovate for the future then moving on to indul indulgence I mean, all consumers we consumers are getting much more demanding so you know and, and it's not just the, the, the like generation z or the millennials where they you know they, they want it to be good for you good for the planet and taste fantastic but I think this is really, most consumers are really wanting to say, look, I do want something that is quite healthy for me. Yeah? I want to feel good about saying, okay, I'm, I'm eating something. I also want it to be good for the planet overall and the environment, etc. I still want it to taste great. Yeah? And I think that's the indulgence part. And so a lot of the times you'll have two of the three, but not all three. And I think uh, one, of, one of the great things is when you, when you try the products, like the ruby or the dairy free, you know, you still have that indulgent taste and feel. So that, that's something we're extremely proud of. Very good. That is a very good sharing after all. And definitely, I hope everyone will learn from here and then, especially from now on, eat healthy as well in terms of sustainability. Thank you. Thank you.